Okay, in this particular video, we're still going to be looking at recurring decimals, but this one is a little bit more tricky, but it's not tricky in terms of the method that we're going to use. The difficulty is actually this particular fraction here, because 55 is quite a difficult number to deal with. So what we're going to do is follow the same routine that we always do, um, and then from there on in, we're going to have a look and see if we can reduce what we get to the value of 1 over 55. Okay, so what we normally do is we say n equals 0 0.018181. 1, 8, and that carries on. That's the 1, 8 recurring. Okay, now if we have a look at this, it's fairly um, straightforward. If we multiply by two um, decimal places, in other words, multiply by 100, we actually get then the recurring bit. You'll see what I mean here. And if you have a look in some of the other videos, it will give you a good idea of what we're trying to do here. And that is, is to get rid of the recurring side of the um, the decimal equivalent. So if I multiply by 100, I move the decimal point two places, it becomes 1.8. And then I have the 1818. And what you'll see is that it's directly underneath the values of n above, which means that if I take one away from the other, then it means I can lose this recurring part of it. So you'll see what I've done there. And that's exactly the same as the method that I've used with all the other uh, videos within this particular playlist. So if I now take away, you can see here all of these recurring values I lose and I end up with 100n take away n, which is going to be 99n. And that equals 1.8 one eight one eight one eight take away zero point zero one eight one eight one eight okay so all of these recurring numbers are going to go and I end up with one point eight take away zero which is actually one point eight and then it's the same process that we followed again with the other videos within this particular playlist where we divide through by ninety nine and that means then I get one value of n, which I'm looking for, and end up with 1.8 over 99. Now, the difficulty, as I mentioned before, with this question is that we've got to convert this fraction into something that looks like that. So um, I'm fairly happy with the method and what we've achieved so far, and I'm fairly happy that we're on the right lines. The problem is, is then just taking this fraction and changing it to that. So let's just have a look at that. Well, okay, if I look at this fraction, um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this decimal point by multiplying through by 10. So if I multiply the top by 10, I get 18. If I multiply the bottom, by 10, I get 990. Oops, 990. Okay, now it's a case of saying, well, I need to then convert this to 1 over 55. And if my thinking and my maths is correct, these are equivalent fractions. Therefore, what we're saying is 18 divided by 18 should equal 1, which is fine, we're happy with that, and 990 divided by 18 equals 55. Okay, well I'm not sure about that. So ordinarily you would reach for a calculator maybe and check that, however, uh, I'm just going to check this on a non-calculator basis and assume that it's a non-calculator question because what it's doing basically is also checking our arithmetic methods. So if 990 divided by 18 is 55, then it also follows that 55 times 18 is 990. And I'm going to do it that way around because I'm just a little bit more comfortable with multiplication than I am with division, although it wouldn't really matter too much whichever way you decided. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume then that 55 times 18 must equal 990. So I'm just going to do that check. Okay, so 8 times 5 is 40. And 8 times 5 is 4, 2, 4 to carry, so that's going to be 440. Now, I am very aware that people will do these slightly differently. You might use grid method or you might partition in a different way. However, that's the, the method I generally tend to use, which is a, 
uh, one that I've used for a long time. But you can clearly see here, whichever way you do it, that 55 times 18 is 990. Therefore, it follows that 990 divided by 18 is 55. Is one of is 55. Therefore, I've proven that 0 0.018 recurring is the fraction 1 over 55. Okay, I hope that's okay for you. I appreciate it takes a little bit of follow through. The first part of it is relatively straightforward, similar to the other videos. It's just this final calculation at the end that you have to be a little bit careful of. Okay, I hope that's been helpful. Please don't hesitate to add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. Have a look at the other videos within the playlist and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video. 